Hey guys, Courtney here with Courtney's Customs and today I'm going to be doing an updated video of my clear water slide on dark cup hack. So this is going to be a completely different image. I'm going to kind of go through it a little bit more, um, explain some more details. And I'm really excited about it because I am doing a Halloween themed tumbler because I'm like so in that mood right now. So that's what we're going to do. And for this tumbler, I am using a 20 ounce from Makerflow Crafts. I'll make sure to put their link in the description. And I have to tell you guys this little trick that I learned um, on accident really. I went to the store to get some black spray paint and they were out of just like regular like matte or gloss or whatever black spray paint. So I got this flat black primer still from rust-oleum two times it's just a primer instead of like the actual spray paint guys i'm telling you it is so amazing it doesn't run it dries and like i'm not kidding as soon as you spray it on you can watch it start drying in spots like and it dries super duper quick it's awesome so I'm going to be using clear water slide for this tumbler now i want to keep in mind because i know i'm going to get comments about this because i have in the past you can use white water slide paper for this tumbler, but I literally never have white water slide paper on hand. It's very, very rare that I ever use it. So I just get like five packs of clear water slide paper at a time because I use it a lot. And if I need it to be this way, then I will do this trick. So I'm using a absolutely stunning image that I found on Etsy. I'll make sure to put the link down in the description. Jason Voorhees, my friends, Jason Voorhees. I know it's mirrored, but it says, welcome to Camp Crystal Lake. It is stunning. The colors are gorgeous and I'm really super excited about it. So if you guys have been here for a while, or even if you're new, you might notice that I do print my water sites mirrored and then place them face down. That is a total personal preference. Um, it's just how I like to do it. I feel like they come off a lot easier. And ever since I started doing it this way, I've never gone back to doing it the old way. So that's why it's mirrored. When I bought the image, this black background was not a part of it. It was, you know, the clear transparent background and this image. And it's really super pretty. It's got like little spider webs and like splashes of paint. It's really super pretty. But anyway, I put this black image behind it myself. So I do all of my work in Cricut Design Space. If you have Silhouette Studio, I'm sorry, I don't know anything about Silhouette Studio, but hopefully you can maybe take what I'm saying and then put it into like Silhouette terms if that makes sense so what I did was I purchased the image downloaded it uploaded it into Cricut Design Space and then once it was uploaded I went into shapes and then I chose a square and then I edited that square to be black because whenever you automatically just put a shape into Cricut Design Space it always comes out like a really dark gray I wanted it to be black to match the tumbler so I edited the color made it black and then I stretched it out to make it a little bit bigger than the image itself, placed it behind the image, selected all of it, and flattened it. I hope that makes sense. I hope I went through it good enough. Um, I'm just trying to think of like all of these steps that I took. Now, if this cup was purple, just it, for example, purple, you would make the box behind it purple. If it was red, you'd make the box behind it red. I made it black so it can match this tumbler here because the tumbler is black. So now I'm going to give it a few extra minutes to make sure all of that ink is dry. And then just like normal, I'm going to go through with my two times Rust-Oleum Clear and seal it just once. And then once that sealant is dry, I'm going to go through with some white. I like to use Ultra Matte. Um, I, it really doesn't matter, but matte, I just, I feel like it dries faster and I just like it better. So once the clear sealant is dry, I'm going to go over it with this white Rust-Oleum spray paint. And then once the white spray paint is dry, I'm going to go over it again with the clear sealant. And essentially, I'm just turning it into a white water slide. So when all of that's done, it should look like this. I, you can still see the image, so you don't wanna like completely coat it. I mean, you can, but I wanna be able to see to cut around. Um, also, another thing I know I'm gonna get comments about. I know I can put it in my Cricut and have it cut it for me. I have calibrated my Cricut like 15 billion thousand times and I still, there's a fly in here and it's driving me nuts, sorry, I still cannot get my Cricut to cut right. Like on the left side it'll be perfect and then as it goes over to the right it won't cut right. So I would rather just cut it myself and all that happy stuff. So now I'm going to cut out the image and just put it on like I do all my other water sides. All right, 
so now that it's cut out, I'm gonna put the water slide on, but I wanted to show you the super nifty little cup cradle first. I got this from Bama Cups, and I've been using it like literally every day since I got it. Um, it holds my cups in place for me right there, so I can put my decals on straight. So make sure you go check that out. I always have Bama Cups in my description, like the link um, for turners and stuff, but he's got more than just turners. And this is one of those things and it's awesome. So definitely go check it out. And so I've got my water slide in the water here. I'm just gonna prep my area where I'm gonna put it. And all I'm really doing is just putting some water on my finger and rubbing some water over the area that I know the water slide is gonna go. Also get my squeegee ready. The silicone squeegee, you can get it from Amazon. You can get it from the Glitter Grind. Probably any like glitter supplier has them. Um, I would recommend the Glitter Grind, of course, but that's just me. So after you think the water slide is ready to go, make sure your cup is good and straight. And remember, I printed the water slide mirrored, so I'm gonna be putting it face down. So about where I feel is right. Add a little bit of pressure and slide that backing off and then take that squeegee and go around and flatten out any wrinkles, get some water bubbles out of there. Just make sure everything is good and flat. And there we go. Okay, so now this is what I'm working with. And it's really cool because once you put epoxy on, it really helps blend the two different shades of black together. Um, so that's gonna work out really cool. For the epoxy, I am going to be using DIY Epoxy's Fast Set. It is literally mind blowing. I talked about it in my last video, I think it was, or the one before that, I think it was the last one. But anyways, you can put on a coat and then like three hours later come out and I can pick it up and show you. So that's what I'm gonna use for the epoxy. If I have time, which I should be able to make time, in a few hours I will come out here and take it off of the turner and show you guys the results. Okay, so it's actually the next day. I'm really sorry. I wanted to come out here the same day um, and show you guys just how fast this fast set from DIY Epoxy does cure. But I did mention it in my last video um, where I was able to show you that. So if you want to go see my review on that, go check out the last video. It's the um, rose gold corset V split tumbler. But that is my clear water slide on a dark tumbler hack video. I really hope you guys enjoy it. I hope it helps y'all out. And I'm obsessed with Jason Voorhees, so I think this one is mine. <laughs> but I made another one, so it's okay. It'll be on my website soon. Before I go, I do have y'all's cup of positivity for the day. And today's quote is, believe deep down in your heart that you are destined to do great things. That was said by Joe Paterno. If y'all have any questions, like always, please feel free to comment. Don't forget to subscribe. Be kind, love one another, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!